Okay, in this movie, we're just going to take a quick tour of Logic's Arrange page and get to know some of the different sections of the Arrange page. Later on in our lessons, of course, we'll dig into these features in some detail. For now, let's just have a look at what's what. This is the Arrange area. This is obviously where you're going to handle regions, audio, and MIDI as you work with your Logic song. These are your tracks vertically here and horizontally you have a timeline. The timeline is currently set to bars and beats and you could change that if you want to over here to show time or to show both bars and time like so. It's up to you. Across the top here this is called the toolbar area and this is where you have various tools to perform various functions. We'll look more at those as we go along. Over on the right hand side, you have some icons to open up some various areas. This is the icon to open the media area. This shows you a number of things, including the bin, where you'll store your audio regions as you're working on your Logic production. You've got some other tabs here. This tab, for example, is the browser that lets you look through your files and your Logic songs and find the things you're looking for. Under the lists area, you can see things like an event list editor for editing your MIDI information. Over here is a marker list where you can see the different markers you may have put in your Logic song and so forth. On the left hand side of the screen, this is the inspector and the inspector will show you things like the channel strip for the track that you have currently selected and a few other pieces of information about the regions you select or the audio or MIDI tracks you select. Down the bottom here, we have tabs to open the various editors. For example, if you want to edit some MIDI data in the piano roll editor or the score editor, these tabs are down here. If we had audio regions, we could use the sample editor. And when it's time to mix the song, we'll use the mixer. The very bottom of the screen, we have the transport bar where we have all of the expected transport functions like play and stop displays to show us our position and other functions available to us. We'll get into these as we go along in this lesson. So that's a quick tour of Logic's Arrange page and uh, some of the different areas and uh, what they do for us.